Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. With the $2 trillion infrastructure plan that the White House has put forth, um, we're going to focus uh, here on New Hampshire's business on New Hampshire's infrastructure needs. And we're going to do so in the next few minutes and again at the 840 segment. With me to uh, talk about uh, those needs and give some timely analysis is economist Dr. Karen Spahn, who was also associate professor of uh, business and uh, finance in the Division of Business and Security Studies at Riviera University in Nashua. Karen, welcome. Thank you, Fred. Thank you for having me. Before we go to the list of New Hampshire's infrastructure needs, Karen, uh, you've gone through the White House infrastructure uh, plan with a fine tooth comb. And we usually think of infrastructure as roads, bridges, airports, but it appears the definition of infrastructure has changed. So now we uh, look at things like drinking water systems, affordable housing, and extreme weather events, correct? That's right. Um, the traditional definition of in infrastructure usually fits into two categories. So the first one is tra uh, transportation, and that includes things like you mentioned, roads, airports, highways. And the second one is th those transportation pieces keep us connected. But the second one is the in-place infrastructures, and those improve the quality of our life. So things like drinking water, wastewater systems, mm -hmm. those help individuals be productive at home and at work, and that can promote productivity and economic growth too. So here's the first list of infrastructure needs in New Hampshire that we've identified. Uh, roads and bridges, 215 bridges, 698 miles of highway in poor condition. Drinking water requires 1 billion more funding next 20 years. Extreme weather events, five events since 2010, cost New Hampshire 500 million. Housing, lack of affordable housing, repair, public housing. It's worth noting that we've been reporting, that we, that we are reporting on uh, these infrastructure needs in New Hampshire that we can get our hands on the information. Um, here's some more of those needs. Um, public transportation, Manchester, Boston uh, Regional Airport, cargo ramp development, communication center drainage analysis, uh, and then public transportation again, Amtrak line to Manchester, uh, from Boston to Manchester and Concord. Uh, Karen, uh, airports usually fall in the definition of infrastructure, uh, as do all of those uh, needs we just listed. Uh, and these stimulate economic activity in New Hampshire, and one in particular. Structures like airports and uh, trans good roads and highways can actually increase tourism and movement into the state. And every external dollar that gets placed into the economy gets multiplied through spending on services, uh, retail, hotels, restaurants, and it can multiply at a higher level and increase economic activity. Yeah. As an economist, I have to ask you briefly your opinion on how the president plans to pay for this by uh, taxing wealthy individuals and businesses that are not paying taxes. Uh, what's your thought on that? Well, that's the hardest part about infrastructure is paying for it. And that's why it usually gets put off and information and in infrastructure gaps get created. Uh, the Biden proposal presents increasing the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28%. And that makes sense in that businesses benefit from strong infrastructure, um, and so they should pay for it. However, increasing corporate taxes will increase uh, the cost of doing business and, and could continue into lower employment and wages, which is a pushback on economic activity. However, other ideas that were floated are user fees, um, like if you cross the bridge, you pay the toll, right. and their people who benefit from it um, also pay for it, but that tends to be a consumption tax that hurts the lower income because it's a higher portion of their budget. Well, you and I are going to continue this on the 840 New Hampshire's business segment this morning, uh, and uh, we're going to look at other infrastructure needs in New Hampshire, such as broadband and schools and so forth. My thanks to Karen, uh, economist from Riviera University.